the massive floods affecting my country, Pakistan, this year is something quite unprecedented. Some estimates say that it has not been 30 years since we have had such heavy rains. Monsoon rains are a regular feature every year during the summer months. But this year, it's the volume of rain that has struck us that is causing so much destruction. Apparently, we can, we can see that there's a shift in the weather pattern where well, monsoon rains would be welcomed because with the rains, <clears throat> our crops would get sufficient water, the underground aquifers would be replenished. But what is happening now is right from the north of the country, in the high mountains, there has also been heavy rains. The water rushes down with great force and Pakistan has the rebendus running through its length. Our rivers in the plains are not so deep, so they easily overflow their banks. In the plains, the people are affected. In the high mountains, there have been landslides, the destruction of infrastructure, roads, bridges being washed away. Even a number of small dams have broken where water would be stored normally. So we see that this is a really unusual situation. It's not the normal uh, weather pattern that we have been experiencing for many years. The monsoon rains, we would be happy to receive the rains. No, these rains have been very destructive because they are too much. The whole of July, the whole of August, and the rains are continuing even now. We can clearly see that there has been a change, there's been a shift in the way we have been receiving these monsoon rains. It's definitely got to do with climate change. And who gets affected is the poor people. In the rural areas where many houses are still built of mud, the roof on top, when we get continuous rain for a long time, the mud in the walls begins to soften and the house collapses. Well, there's so many other ways where destruction takes place. The standing crops, with the water standing there in their roots, too much water, again, the crop is ruined. So it's really a catastrophic situation for us this year, something we've not seen in recent years. So my dear brothers and sisters, that's briefly what we are facing in Pakistan. The poor people, as usual, suffering the most, although in the big city of Karachi, where I come from, we even have urban flooding, where the infrastructure is not in sufficient enough to carry the water into the sea. So there's been all round destruction, but it's the poor people in the villages in particular who are very badly hit. They've lost their crops, they've lost their houses, they've lost their animals too, that have been swept away by the floods. So this year, Caritas Pakistan, which is linked with Caritas International, is working, is doing whatever it can to help the people. We work together with the government of Pakistan. And this year, even the army has been called out to help the people in flooded areas where the water is not draining out. So we are doing what we can, but we can only do it with your help.